Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and this is the uh, flutter clean architecture with the river part uh, project over here we will be building a flutter application using the clean architecture with the flutter river part over here and this is not a beginner course so if you are a complete beginner or if you are not uh, familiar with the flutter as well as the river part over here then this course is not for you so this is really not a beginner friendly course and if you want to learn some basic concept make sure to go and check out my other courses over here and you should be good to go with that one but for this particular course it is required to have some flutter development experience maybe a six months one year or even more than that would be good and also the um, the river pod or the knowledge of the river pod is required and if you are not sure about how to use the Flutter River Pod, make sure to go and check out my course on that one. I have a full course regarding the Flutter River Pod as well. And um, that's just the um, thing that you have to know about this. That is the pre-request for this particular course. So let us get started and welcome to the Flutter Clean Architecture course with the Flutter River Pod. So let's meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here and the next step what we'll do over here is we'll move on to the next layer over here so let me just go and close all of this over here and let's go to the, our sign up feature over here and let's create the one new folder over here that will be of the uh, domain over here i'll be separating it to the four different layer and uh, for now let's just move on to the domain layer and let's just go and create the one new folder inside of this and that will be of the uh, models over here or the let's just keep it as a model and here i'll just going to create the uh, one new file that will be of the let's here sign up uh let's call that the uppercase s-i-g-n underscore the up and then the model dot the dot file over here and uh let's just going to create this one and uh, now what we will do over here is we go back to the response we are getting the uh, the id name email role and then the odd type but for this particular model in the ui we just require the name and email and one more uh, type which is of the each other uh, each sign of successful right so let's just go and add that one over here and i'll just go and make use of the phrased class over here if r e e um get e defreeze over here so i guess we can't find that um okay so let me just go and create the frc over here and uh, let's just go and import that one over here so this will be of the sign up model so instead of creating it manually i'll just go and make use of the uh, code generator the code snippet tool over here basically so let's go on to the top and i need to go and import first of all the uh phrased over here so let's just go and say phrased annotation over here and i need to create the uh, part file i need to generate the uh, the, the phrased file over here and i don't need to have the from json and to json over here this was just a simple class that i will go and generate over here 
and over here let's just go and uh, have the uh, one is I require the email and also I require the password uh, not the not the required email and password we require the name and then the email so that should be email and then the name and then the uh, another one will be of the uh, required over here and I'll just make this one as the bull over here and then the um, each success right or I'll just each success I guess that should be fine each success or I'll just say each uh, SIGN sign up success over here that should be good enough over here and um, we have the type each of the string string and then the bull over here and uh, for this one what I will do over here is let's try to go and uh, generate this particular code so let's just go and run the build runner over here again let's try to generate this particular code over here and once the file is generated successfully we are good to go over here so simple the model class over here and once we have generated this particular code let's go to the domain again and let's create the one more new folder that would be of the mapper over here it's not actually required but i would like you to show how we can make use of the mapper as well over here and uh, if you prefer it you can just go and try to use it in your application but it depends on the project and your uh, team requirement um, how you have set up your code standard and the architecture and all of the stuff over here so let's just go and add a new file over here and let's call this one as the i'll create an interface so i and that will be of the we need to map it to the sign underscore of the uh, model and that will be of the underscore the mapper over here and then the dot uh, dot file over here sign up model mapper dot the dot file and let's just go and create the uh, ab abstract class over here abstract class and uh, then the let's just go and import this one over here and uh, we need to pass in not this one we are going to pass in the sign up uh, response that we are getting it from the sign up response and this is the type of the let's say we'll just pass it as the or we'll just call this one as the um, data over here and I sign up model mapper over here and I will just call this one let's just go and remove this one and I'll just call this one map to the sign up model over here so map to sign up model or you can find a different name depending on your requirement over here and let me also create this one as the abstract interface over here i n t e r f s e interface over here and make this one as a pure interface over here and now what we need to do is we just need to um, call the map to a map to sign up model and uh, pass in the sign up response that we are receiving over here and that is going to return us the um, sign up model over here and i guess this should be fine for now we just created two one model over here and one the mapper over here and uh, that should be all that we need to do in this particular uh, domain uh, layer over here so now we have created a data layer domain layer as well as the presentation layer over here and now uh, we have left one more layer that will be of the application layer and where we will do all of our uh, business logic or the use case over there so that's all for this particular lesson and uh, let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day